Let's go talking a little bit about this fun story. Ohio sports books had to stop taking wagers on Alabama baseball due to suspicious wagering. <laughs> this is a listening glasses story for sure. Ohio gambling re regulators on Monday instructed the licensed sports books in the state to halt betting on college baseball games involving Alabama after suspicious wagering activity was detected during the Crimson Tide's last game against LSU. The directive, an issue by the Ohio Casino Control Commission executive director and obtained by ESPN, reported by David Payne Purdom, prohibits, quote, the acceptance of any wagers on the University of Alabama baseball effective immediately. Emergency order was in response to a report from our friends at U.S. Integrity that they were monitoring it, saying that there was suspicious wagering activity involving Alabama and LSU. Do you know what happened here? Because a friend of mine actually knew what happened here. What happened? They changed starters. Okay. And everyone buried, came in heavy on LSU. Who won? LSU. Who was favored? Uh, well, at the time, I think it was when they had a certain number one in there for Alabama. I think Bama was either was a small dog or a small favorite. And then they made a late change. The books didn't react, and everyone hammered LSU. And so because everyone hammered LSU or it leaked out who the starting pitcher was going to be and everybody hammered LSU. <laughs> LSU led Alabama eight to one after seven innings held off a late rally by the Crimson Tide for an eight, six victory. The Tigers were around a minus two forty five favorite over the tide with the game in question. A friend of mine who bets SEC foot SEC baseball said this is ridiculous. He's like, this was not suspicious. This was just people finding out who no one, like Major League Baseball, everyone reports who the starter is going to be when there's a switch. College baseball doesn't have the same type of media coverage. So you can switch out somebody pretty quickly. Different starter came in. Everybody bet LSU because they knew. Right. And so the red flag goes up. I'm like, oh, it's suspicious. But it really wasn't, at least according to my friend who bets this, said it wasn't really suspicious. It was just everyone got the information before the books did. So the first question is, you know, and I love DP, David Purdom, yep. genuinely. Like we spent a lot of time together talking about a lot of things. He's a he's a dear friend. Um, the article is is written. Um, it's there's a lot of vague spots in it, in my opinion, but mm -hmm. I don't know shit either. So the first question I would have would be, why was it just Ohio? that reported or why was it just suspicious in Ohio? Um, because there's no national gaming regulator, a halt mm -hmm. on wagering typically happens on a state by state business basis. So right. yes, your question is why so just Ohio? Did they halt it or did they just report it? Well, Ohio was the one that issued the declaration that no one can take it. FanDuel decided to stop taking wagers on all in all States in response to it. Just that game. Just Alabama baseball. Any game going involving forward. Alabama. Going in that game and going forward as of right now, yes. Precautionary measures, what they called it. Bama plays Vandy on Thursday. If they would have won, would they have done it? That's my second. <laughs> Is it suspicious? <laughs> it's awesome, yes. Is it suspicious <laughs> only back, because yes. the books lost? That's my point. That's my friend's point. My friend was like, this is a whole bunch of bullshit because this is just because if Bama came back and won that game nine, eight, this doesn't even get talked about. <laughs> like this isn't even a story. There's not even a fucking report sent out. <laughs> right. If Alabama wins the game. Yeah. They go, ha, 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 everybody, all the bad guys, all the robbers, all the parallelograms, they all bet LSU today for some reason. We killed them today. And there's no report. Nothing. Not even mentioned. There's but because not even they got, a mention. They got it's, soaked because the information, because they were slow to move well, the number. I don't even know. That's the the third thing is we got to get a figure for real because it's college baseball. One. Right. And right. I'm not, I'm not bad rapping or besmirching college baseball at all. No, Love but it. we Big know fan. the level of handle. Right. It ain't much. Right. Okay. LSU. 
Bama. The first quarter of the football game. Total does more handle than this entire <laughs> game did in all of the country. Yes. Okay. That's that's so the fact that this even got sent out. I'm just impressed that it got a national story level and it even got talked about. That's all I'm saying. I don't know how it got there. <laughs> there ain't nothing suspicious at all about it. Unless there's something, unless you have actual evidence of something that Bama threw the game, which they came back. So it's not like they were down eight to one. If they're going to throw the game, lose eight to one. They lost eight, six. So <laughs> what to make it look better. Bro. Right. Yeah, it's, it's dumb. Just, I, mean, it's, I mean, if somebody, okay, now, oh, I was up early this morning and I was doing some stuff, and our guy Brew sent a tweet out about the NFL alerting their their guys about where to where they are when they place the bets. Oh, and how being where you are is more important than what you're doing what you're betting on, even that you're betting at all. You can't do it on their property. This is suspicious only because of either who bet it, when they bet it, and where they bet it. Not what they bet. That's how you find a suspicious activity report and all the other stuff. And if Holt wants to call me, he knows the number. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I would love, I'm just saying there's people to get these reports in these places and I'm not, I'm just saying they're not. I would just love to know why they threw a red flag up and would the red flag, did the red flag go up pregame? No. Or did it go up postgame? Because if it went up postgame, I got a problem with that. You know, it doesn't go up when they're betting it. You just keep moving the number and you go, wow. What happened in here? Why do they keep betting this game? And then the game starts and you go, hey, can you check the activity on this game? And then they check the activity and they go through the line history, all of which I can do myself too. And they go, definitely suspicious. File report. Send out the alert. There was suspicious activity reporting on uh, Alabama LSU. Because Doesn't they, work. again, because they found out the pitching chain before the books did. Right. I mean, that's. What happened? Yeah. I mean, that, that, that's so like, now they make a snap judgment that says no more Alabama baseball games because they changed the pitchers. It's their fault. <laughs> they didn't. Did they know if the kid hurt his shoulder in the bullpen before? I don't know. I, I don't know how the, I don't know how it happened. My, my friend just said the reason why this got reported is because everyone knew that there was a pitching change and the number didn't move and everyone went, oh, Bama's not winning this game. <laughs> and everybody just came in and bet LSU. Because Bama was going to get housed, and they lost 8-6. They lost on the run line. You remember that sign on the front of restaurants that said, like, we refuse the right to serve anyone, or, like, no, yes. shoe, no shoes, no shirt, no service? Yep. This is one of them situations where you're the book, and you can just pick and choose what you're taking. It's not always fair, but it's your business. You can make those decisions. This thing about it being suspicious Complete and utter caca shit. But it also I, creates a boogeyman. Okay? Which is a great thing to create if you got a business <laughs> that has designed, a monitoring service designed and you to call catch the boogeyman. Yes. If you create the boogeyman, this is literally fucking Scooby-Doo. This is what Scooby-Doo is, right? Scooby-Doo goes, Scooby -Doo. The, the guys that Scooby-Doo goes ahead and creates the bad guy in order for the bad guy to get caught. This is Scooby Doo. Like this is this is you're creating by calling it suspicious. You're now creating a boogeyman that there's some nefarious group out there that had some line information on LSU and they hammered LSU. So up, oh, fuck it, stop it all, everyone, stop. No one move. It, there's a ghost in here. Where's the ghost, Matt? It's in here. I tell you, it's in here. I promise you, it's in here. Call Ghostbusters. <laughs> I mean, it's nuts to me. The word suspicious is wrong. Like th this is what ha for, for us in the industry, in the media, in the content space, we got to be really careful about this. Okay. Because 
there are people in government who are wanting to watch and call this to the carpet. Oh, shit. Now you Okay? They want to call this stuff to the carpet. So if mm. they think that there is suspicious activity, they will use this story for justification to pass laws. Okay? They'll say, remember that happened with that Bama baseball game? You know, U.S. Integrity said it happened, so it must have happened. Oh, no. Now, all of a sudden, you got people sitting there going ahead. You have, I mean, I've done panels with Matt Holt on this topic, okay? So, I've, like, I've worked in the same you know order more of than business I have. as yeah. Matt Holt for a number of years. I mean, a lot of ways, Matt Holt is responsible for this show. If you want to talk about how we all kind of got together, <laughs> like, we'll tell weird... that story when we really get yeah. the bag. <laughs> there's a whole I mean, connection. I, just story. so nobody comes looking for us, we'll really tell that story. <laughs> I guess. So, like, there's a whole connection bar- piece. But, yes. I don't know. I the word suspicious. The re, reason why I put this in the story in the rundown is because I can't believe we're calling this suspicious. And I and I thank my friend who bet it because I wouldn't. Have, I may have read this. Just if Joe Blow reads this, right? Take a, if I didn't understand line movement, I didn't understand the way games were betting, and I didn't have someone who bet it in the South who played this in Tennessee, then coming ahead and saying, "Wait a minute, this is ridiculous. Like this is not what actually happened here." We if all in the SEC we knew Alabama. what happened here. Bama. One, One, there's no report. There's no story. And that's a problem. (laughs) That's a problem because the books got killed and they're like, wait a minute. We took 25 bets on LSU and one in Alabama. It has to be suspicious. It can't be. There's no way. It's like the draft, right? Somebody had information on Will Levis before anybody else and bet him, you know, to go outside the top 10. And everyone's like, well, how did they know? Well, they knew Will Levis was going to drop. Somebody had the information before the books did. So all of a sudden, that makes it suspicious? That's baloney. Don't put college baseball up then. Don't put lines up for college baseball. Now, that's that's what's going to happen. That's okay. You get beat to the number if you're worried about that. I'm far more okay with them, someone saying, look it, we're not booking the games, okay? We get beat to the number. People know more than we do. We're not booking college baseball. I'm fine with that versus saying, when you got kicked in the nuts, all of a sudden, oh, there's got to be a nefarious thing going on here. I mean, we, we couldn't have lost 10 grand on a ba- on a baseball game. Come on. Something on had a, to happen wrong. On a Friday, like, you know, let alone what if, what if you want to take the bets, but you don't really have anybody on staff that pays any attention to it and you don't know. So what do you do? You copy the numbers. So somebody puts up a number and you copy it and go, ah, that's got to be right because they put it up and they bet the crap out of you and everywhere else in the entire state of Ohio and they beat you. And then you call the other places. They bet you over there. Yeah, they bet us. Did they bet you? Yeah, they bet us. We should call that guy that does that monitoring (laughs) and tell him and all these people. Yeah, they bet you. They bet you. They bet you. They bet you. Yeah, hey, man. Did you see that LSU held on and won? But they bet us nonstop. Check it. Check it. Wow, 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 wow. Suspicious. Because they lost a lot of money on it or whatever they think would There's be. There's no of money. suspicion if Alabama wins. That is not right. That and I agree. And that's a big problem. 